everyone from Wednesday and today we are back with another Radical Red Monotype series and today's monotype is gonna be flying so let's talk about the flying type it has been incredible for the flying type's history just look at all these pokemon here they are so wonderful gorgeous and whatnot like I really like the flying type like one of my favorite is Mega Charizard Y Rayquaza, Yavatar, Gloyscore, Noivon, Ninjask and even more of like Salaman, Zapdos, Gyarados oh I have so many but today we are going to be looking which is the best of them best by meaning um not that like actual that best by meaning can we beat Pokemon Radical Red with flying type Pokemon so let's get start with the team recap so first up is Rockstar the Pidgeot we are running modest nature on it just to maximize that special attack and we are running Pidgeot type because we need a Mega Pidgeot on our team so yep it has first catch an ability but it will change to no guard when it mega evolves and that's huge because we are running completely non accurate moves on this thing but 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 we are running modest nature I, I think I told you that but the moveset is hurricane, roast, quick attack and ash slash so basically yeah sometimes uh, ash slash is I mean sometimes roast is even switched with focus blast at times so yeah but anyways we are running hurricane but this is going to be a hundred percent accurate rose for just for healing coverage quick attack for priority and air slash for that nice stab uh, special move next up is swallow when we are running modest nature on this thing as well because this thing radical red has given this thing freaking boom burst and boom burst is a 140 base power normal type move oh my goodness i'm a bit too high i guess but that's absolutely fine we are running choice calf on this thing just to m increase his speed like hell and yeah as you can look at its stats it's completely be trained in special attack and speed and 290 speed plus choice calf it outspeeds the entire league and its ability is very late so that normal type moves become flying type so that we can hit ghost type pokemon as well so we are running hurricane and rock quick attack and boom burst i'm just gonna be using boom burst and quick attack but i have kept endeavor like for some place like if we uh, if we have to die to that move then we can just endeavor focus slash quick attack for that purpose you understand right so next up is Eon the Star Raptor. We are running Jolly Nature on this just to maximize its speed stat. And we are running Scorpion just to get that nice critical hit chance. And we are running Reckless on the things just to power up Brave Bird, you know. And uh, yeah, as you can look by its stat, it's pretty decent. We are running Brave Bird, Close Combat, Quick Attack, and Endeavor no explanations there next up is spec the crowbat and this thing outspeeds the entire league even without choice card except or shifu but but guys if you are running table nature on this just to maximize that speed and yeah we are running infiltrated to pass through barriers like light screen uh, protect any barrier which you can think of even barrier move itself as you can look by its stats this is 100% TV trained in speed and special attack yup and yeah flying type pokemon are known for their speed really man but we are running nasty plot sludge bomb and slash and hypnosis and believe me this crowbat is a major team member believe me and next up is zip zap zap the Zapdos and we are running item assault was on this thing but we are going to be switching that up with um choice scarf and another scoplin so yeah we are running hasty nature on this just to maximize that speed and as you can see by the stats it's the EV trained in special attack and speed we are running drill pick thunder roast and protect roast I mean 
Next up is, I mean, last up is Dodri. Oh, we are running Jolly Nature on this just to maximize that speed stat and Choice Man just to increase that attacking stat a bit. And we are running Rocket so that Brave Bird does not do recoil damage for ourselves. And we are running Quick Attack, Jump Kick, Endeavor, and Brave Bird. And that's all for the team. I hope you like the team. Let me know in the comments what else team I could have used. But let's see if this is really possible or not. Okay, so first up is Lala, and yeah, she leads along with Ludico and Polydor, and that's the team which we want. So we straight away go for the OK Boomer and Quick Attack on the Ludicolo, because that kills outspeeds anything on my team except Swellow. Next up is Kyogre and Polydor, and we Boom Bust again. Boom Bust Thunder combo knocks out the Kyogre, and the Polydor is still doing some chip damage with Icy Pin. Next up is the Swampert, and I knew that um, we couldn't, now Swellow just had to die, and Yep, it sure did. But, 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 the Swampert was a super power. We survived Drill Pack it just to do so. Just to do some uh, chip damage. Then we Brave Bird Drill Pack the Swampert to knock it out. But, it's not over yet. King Drill comes out and that's a Swift Swimmer. So we got a Sludge Bomb and switch into a Rockstar because we need a that Dojo. It's very crucial. So we had to sack our PG out because we did not need it. Like actually we did not need it. So then we switch into our good buddy Dogrio, Brave Bird in the King Draw, Sludge Bomb the Draco Wish and won the battle against Lolai. Next up is Bruno and he leads out with his Urshifu and we decide to just put it to sleep and decide to just um you know use our slash nasty plot combo but it brings us to pretty low health like a very decent amount of health 53 that's a lot by the way i mean by a lot i mean a lot but then he just switched into straight away into zashian and i had to choice cut my zip zaps up to even win this fight and i had to research 10,000 times if you don't believe like this actually took 10,000 times to knock out this Zacian but finally we somehow did it as you can see next up is Cesar and he boom boss it just to do some uh, maximum amount of damage and um, it knocks us out with super power but that's absolutely fine because next up is how Lucha and it uses Skyrack and I had to suspect then I switched into Star after went for Brave Bird knocked it out Next up is some um, yeah Blaziken and we knocked that thing out with Brave Bird and next up is Mega Lucario and I did not know what to do so I just did some chip damage decided to do some chip damage but it just knocked me out so I just switched into Zip Zap Zap thundered it brought it to low as it close combated me to do some lot of damage I will level 30 nil I knock it out our Shifu goes down and I defeat Bruno. Next up is Agatha and yeah, we wanted a Zoroark team so that we just, that's what we did. We just uh, kept doing a lot of stuff and eventually got the victory. So yeah, as you can see this Shadow for the Shadow did do a lot of damage but that's fine because next up is Mimikyu. I knew it's gonna Shadow Sneak me, knock me out so I had to sack it then I switched into Crowback, use Hypnosis, put it to sleep, Sludge Bomb twice and to get the victory unless it lands a nice shadow claw shadow sneak combo backs up is mark shadow and one of the coolest pokemon i've seen till now i switch it straight away switch into rockstar and go for the hurricane it builds up but that's no matter it brings it straight to its slash and he hurts himself in confusion to win me the battle next up is gengar and it slash wave me and leaving me with 13 health but then it knocked me out Next up is Mega, yeah, as you can see, we, we can do that, all these stuff. Next up is Polchai Geist, and that's a crazy and just spooky one, but we knock it out with Boombert unless it's a Zoroark. So yeah, it is kinda hard. Yeah, the Zoroark like pulled me completely, but we defeated Agatha. Now time to move on to Lance, the Elite 4 Champion. I mean, Elite 4 Trainer, last one. And he leads out with his Aerodactyl and we straight away go for Hypnosis, put it to sleep. And then we start using Nasty Plot up, like around 2 after 2 it just woke up. I had to again put it to sleep, 
and again I ash slashed it, knocked it out unless he switches into Mel Metal, I miss mine, got a bit of bad luck but eventually it did flinch and yeah, I won the battle, next up is Dragonite and that decide I flinched it, it speeded me, just to, to, just to do some uh, maximum amount of damage it can to me. Next up is the Primal Dialga and we have to rely on flinches for this fight and I got this around in the 5th or the 6th attempt. Next up is Draco Wish. Next up is Salamance, and that thing is kinda dangerous, but we decided to stay in and go for Sludge Bomb, and it actually did knock it out. And last up is that the same Aerodactyl, and we knocked it out with Spec. And yeah, that was completely a sweep with Spec. Now let's look how the champion fight goes. So he leaves out with Crocodile, and I just put it to sleep with Hypnosis, and then Nasty Plot up twice. And then I add slash it, but looks like he actually has two Pokemon in his party with focus slash. One is the crocodile and another one is the dark rod. And sorry, this is not a 2.2 version. Next time I do, it is gonna be in the 2.2 version, so don't worry. Next up is primal ground round, and I just flinch it twice to win the fight. Next up is dark rod, and I had to put it to sleep. Yeah, it puts everyone else to sleep. Like I put the. Oh, sleepy monster to sleep but it woke up thunderbolt in me to do some a lot of damage Nas is dead Ash slash it, it blocked it I again Ash slash it, it brought it around to its slash again Ash slash it and finally knocked it out next up is blast out and I knew this thing even mega blast I couldn't take a sludge bomb and that's what happened and last up is okay kiss and I knocked that thing out with sludge bomb as well and last up is ditto and I, I was afraid because he copies all my stat changes and he locked himself into sludge bomb but no worries because ditto just has 5 pp for each move and yeah so I had just had to sack a 2-3 pokemon and it started struggling itself down and yeah I even had to sack zip zap zap I don't know, shout out to Jaden by the way for this nice nickname which he gave to Zip Zap Zap, the Magnemite from his run. But anyway, not not to talk about Jaden and the Crobat struggle, I Mega Evolve my Rockstar finishing this with a Hurricane. And that's how, with that my friends, that's how you can beat Pokemon Radical Red using only Steel type Pokemon. I hope you like this challenge video because if you did, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you are new because I am doing this all the 18 type Pokemon types in Radical Red and hopefully winning. And with that my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one. So bye bye, see you next time and stay safe.